Are you planning to conceive? Whether you've just started thinking about it or you've already begun trying, these 12 steps can truly make all the difference. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Priya, an Ayurvedic gynecologist and today I'll be giving you 12 practical doctor-backed points that will help you conceive naturally and faster. Number one, know your fertile window. Now, the fertile window is the most important thing to understand when you're trying to conceive. It refers to the six-day period during your cycle when the pregnancy is most likely, especially two days before ovulation and the day of ovulation itself. They are very important. But how do you find out which is your ovulation day? Now, let's try to understand this with an example. Suppose your period starts on January 3. That is the first day of your bleeding and that is the, also the first day of your cycle. And your next period comes on February 2. So, this makes it a 30-day cycle. Means, the gap between the first day of the bleeding in this cycle, the first day of the bleeding in the next cycle. Now, ovulation usually happens 14 days before your next period. So, if your cycle is of 30 days, just subtract 14 out of it. That is, you will get around day 16 you will ovulate. That is, January 18 or 19. Your fertile window will be approximately from January 14 to January 19. Let me give you another example. You get your period on January 3 and the next cycle begins on February 6. So now, this makes it a 34-day cycle. Subtract 14 from 34. You will get 20. That is day 20, January 23. Now, your fertile window comes from January 19 to 24. The egg survives for 12 to 24 hours, whereas the sperm can survive from 4 to 6 days. So, when you are ovulating, try for conception at least 4 to 5 days before the day of ovulation and on the day of ovulation as well as on the next day of ovulation to increase the chances of conception. Another important thing is, it is not necessary that you have to try every day near your ovulation when you are trying to conceive. You can try every alternate day also. The chances of conception will be almost equal. This is how you are supposed to track your ovulation. But this is really important. Number 2. Start your preconception vitamins early. Don't wait till you get pregnant. You should start the preconception vitamins 3 to 6 months before you try to conceive. And both the partners sh should use it. Start folic acid, vitamin D3, vitamin B12. These are very important. Apart from these micro minerals like iron, zinc, iodine and selenium. Omega 3 is again very important. And for men, micro minerals like zinc, vitamin C, vitamin E, they help a lot with the sperm motility. Always consult your doctor before you start these. Number three, move your body. Exercise is very important. Gentle exercise like daily walks, focused yoga, stretching that improves the flow towards the pelvic organs. Avoid intense workouts if you are already underweight or have irregular cycles. It will increase the vata and it will not help for conception. For males also, exercise is very important to maintain a healthy reproductive state. But you should not overdo it because it will lower the testosterone levels. And also you should not underdo it. There is no use, right? Avoid steroids and fat burners. Number four, practice pranayama and lower your stress. High stress is a big block to your reproductive hormones. Anxiety, tension, these are the enemies of your eggs and sperms. Your testosterone level in males and estrogen progesterone levels are directly affected by stress. Pranayam is very helpful along with meditation and journaling your worries. Start with basics like Anulom Vilom Par Pranayam or Brahmri Pranayam that is the humming bee which is scientifically proven to reduce 
stress hormones and improve PCOS symptoms and calm your nervous system. 5 to 10 minutes a day of regular practice of these pranayams is enough to reset your systems. Number 5. Eat a balanced fertility boosting diet. Your body needs to be nourished to support new life. Skip crash diets and start feeding your fertility. For women trying to conceive, include whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, good fats like ghee, coconut, leafy greens, spinach, moringa, methi, colorful fruits except papaya and pineapple. Protein intake should be increased, especially moong dal. Iron-rich foods like beetroot, pomegranate, it's for men. Also, a balanced diet composed of protein, healthy fat and healthy carbohydrates along with micro minerals is very important. Stop consuming processed foods, sugar, excess caffeine, soya based junk food. Number six, quit your addictions. This one is most simple and most serious. If you are on alcohol or smoking, they will reduce the quality of your eggs and sperms increase the chances of miscarriage and impact your baby's future. Both partners should commit to a clean lifestyle. Number seven, try to conceive before the age of 30. Naturally, the fertility declines after 30 to 32 years of age in women. So aim to conceive your first baby before that window where you're biologically most fertile. And don't delay it for too long thinking you have a lot of time. In males also, the quality of sperms starts to de deteriorate after the age of 35 and there are increased risks of miscarriage, Down syndrome, etc. if you conceive after 35 in males. Number 8. Maintain a healthy body weight. Too much or too little weight will affect your ovulation. In Ayurveda, this relates to kapha imbalance and rasadhatukshaya. Moderate your diet and aim for agni balance, not just calorie counting. Eat easy to digest, warm, nourishing foods and avoid extreme crash diets and junk food. Number 9. Eliminate all hormone disrupting toxins in your life. Limit plastic containers, scented products, cosmetics and parabens. These act like estrogen in your body and disrupt the natural hormone cycle. In Ayurveda, this is called ama accumulation, the toxins that block your reproductive channels. Number 10, you should know when to see a doctor. If you are under 30 and have been trying naturally for more than 12 months without success, you must see a doctor. And if you are over 30, wait only for 6 months. After that, you must consult a doctor. Early assessment helps rule out all the hormonal or structural issues quickly. And it can be solved. Number 11. Heal your gut. Your fertility starts in your gut. Ayurveda says that the first dhatu, that is the rasa dhatu, nourishes all the other dhatus, including the eggs and the sperms. So include healthy foods like buttermilk with roasted jeera, trikatu churna before meals, warm water throughout the day. Number 12. Don't ignore the male factor. 40% of infertility is male factor related. So, encourage your partner to improve and work on their sperm count, quality and motility with dravyas like ashwagandha and kapikachu and lifestyle changes. Fertility is not a solo journey. Now you know the real steps that you have to take when you are trying to conceive. Yes, one more important point that is try to get your blood tests done. The basic tests like hormone profile, thyroid profile, iron profile and cholesterol levels and liver function tests. These will give you a very good idea about the state of your body, whether it is in the perfect state or you need to improve certain things. So, this is what I wanted to tell you today. If you like this video, if you found this video useful, please subscribe to my channel. And also, I have attached in the description box a fertility checklist. Please download it and use it for future reference. Thank you.